Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of the DCS FA-18C video series. In this video we will look at conventional unguided bombing in CCIP and CCRP submodes. Let's get started. First we will take a look at the CCIP or Continuously Computed Impact Point Bombing Submode. This mode will allow us to place the reticule over the target and release the bomb. First we'll select Master Arm Switch to Arm, Air to Ground Submode, select the weapon, select Mechanical Fuse to Nose, Electronic Fuse to Instantaneous and Mode to CCIP. Looking at the HUD, we have the bomb full line and the release queue. Put the bomb full line over the target and then we wait for the release queue to turn into a crosshair. When it turns into the crosshair, this is giving accurate guarding information. Pickle pitch up to about 10 degrees nose up and then roll over look for impact detonate this concludes the CCIP bombing submode we'll now take a look at using high drag weaponry in the form of the Mark 82 Snake Eye uses drag retarding panels fitted to the aft section of the bomb. On our stores management page we can see 82XT and this refers to the Mark 82 Snake Eye. We will use it in auto mode using so a mechanical fuse of the nose and electronic fuse of instantaneous. We will then select drag to be retarded instead of FF which is free fall. We have selected waypoint 1 as our target point. We will now fly to place the azimuth steering line on our flight path marker. Using high drag weapons allows us to be a lot lower when employing the weapon, allowing us to be further away from the target which reduces the risk of surface to air missile. The profile for using high drag weapons is low and fast. We also have the pull up queue, which if our flight path marker is below the pull up queue, we will get dud on the screen and a pull up queue. This means that the weapon will not fire and will not arm as it poses a risk to the aircraft. I'll now select coupled so that the autopilot flies as the steering line and we'll wait for the release queue. seconds to release. Holding the weapon release button and pickle. Two, one, impact, detonates. This includes the use of high drag weapons for the F-18 We'll now take a look at the CCRP or Continuously Computed Release Point Bombing Submode. Master Arm to Arm, Air to Ground Mode Select, Weapon Select, Mode to Auto, Mechanical Fuse to Nose, Electronic Fuse to Instantaneous. In Auto Mode we need to designate a target point. So we'll select our first waypoint and click Waypoint Designate. 
this will set up our waypoint as the target point. We now have the release queue on the right hand side and that is counting down towards our release point. The computer will calculate the release point for us so we don't have to manually place the crosshair over the target. This allows us to fly straight and level without having to dip our nose down and get closer to any potential surface to air missiles. I'll lower the brightness of the HUD just to allow us to see it a little bit better. And we're using accurate steering using the azimuth steering line or ASL. I can also use the autopilot and select coupled mode and the autopilot will manually fly the azimuth steering line. As we get closer to our release point, we're about five seconds away, we'll see the bomb release queue. And that will come down the azimuth steering line until it intersects with our flight path marker. At around six seconds, we'll hold the pickle button. There's the bomb fall line. And release. We now have a time tool impact on our right hand side. Disengaging the autopilot. And in around five seconds, look over the side and look for impact on the targets. Splash one. This concludes the use of auto or CCRP bombing sub mode. We will now take a look at using quantities and multiples for attacking multiple targets at once. On our stores management page we have the UFC upfront control button which when we select we get quantity and multiple. Quantity refers to the number of weapons that we want to release and multiple shows us how many we want to release in each pair. So if we selected four weapons in multiples of two, then it will go two weapons released and then another two weapons released. So it will select three weapons to be released with an interval of 10 feet between each bomb. And I'll select coupled to align ourselves to the azimuth steering line. And then we'll wait for the release queue to enter the Looking down the stores management page, you'll see that three weapons will be rippled off one by one, with an interval of about 10 feet between each weapon. Five seconds to go, holding the weapon release button. One, two, three. Three weapons away. And if we have a look, we have indeed released three weapons which will fall onto our target nicely. One, two, three. Splash one. This concludes the use of quantity and multiple 